Hi parents. It is Monday, April 27th, and this is my third time trying to record this. So, wow, lots of bloopers. So anyway, that being said, today's how-to is how to have our kids check in with me. This week, I am um, appreciative of your feedback. I, I can't tell you how much it has helps guide me and gives me insight to what's going on at home. So thank you, and I appreciate all of the honesty. Um, I, I, there are things we're doing well, and there are things that we need to improve on. So that's okay, I appreciate that. That's what we need, that's how we move forward. So um, with that being said, there were, I have it written right here, four areas that I feel seem to be surfacing. Balance, redefining expectations, some organizing and motivation. Those are the things in my own house that I'm seeing an issue and my kids are a whole lot older and um, I'm seeing it with them. I'm seeing it with myself and I'm pretty sure you guys are feeling it the same way as well. So looking at that, trying to figure out this puzzle piece of what technology people have, what they don't have, um, because that's a big glitch. In a nutshell, let me go through, let me share my screen here. This is what um, I am thinking. I hope this works because this is part of what has um, not been working. So anyway, this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to send home this PDF for you every week. And what I would do if I were you is I would print it if you can, or if they if you can't, have the kids create one off to the side. Um, this PDF right here shows what is required. There's required work, and then there is optional work. So back to the basics. Our district has, there we go. Our district has suggested that we spend one to three hours per day on schoolwork, one to three. So as you can see that here, this comes up to 60. So this line right here is 60. And um, this is the range that we should be working in, 60 to 90 minutes. So we want our kids' lines to be able to come up to here every day. So that might be required work or that could be optional work. So the question then is what is required? What is required is the packet. Plain and simple, we've gone round and round, spent hours trying to figure out how to do it differently. We can't, we've got the technology piece in the way. So we can require the packet, period. You and I both know that that packet is not gonna take our kids that long, okay? So what we did as a Gales team is we came up with this. If you look back at the screen, we came up with the option work. That is where you as parents to keep them in tune, sit with your kiddos and decide, okay, what option work, or if you feel they're responsible enough, what option work are you going to work on today? So that we make sure that you're spending that um, suggested amount of time on schoolwork. All right, so that probably puts it in an easy nutshell. So for example, let's say we use red for our required work. Maybe your kiddo on Monday sits down and completes the entire packet. That's very possible that they complete the entire packet. And it takes them 90 minutes. So they're gonna color in red up to here. They'll color in this entire section, okay? So they're done with the required work for the week, all right? They've gone within this gray area, so really, technically, they're done for the day. Now, if you require them the three hours, that's your choice, okay? I'm saying that as a district, that's what we're requiring, okay? Over here is our option. So if they finish their whole packet on Monday, that would mean the rest of the week, they're not gonna have any red on here. The rest of the week is going to be optional work. So what I'm sensing is maybe some of our kids are like, well, I finished the packet. I don't need to do anything else. That's not really the case. 
<coughs> if they finish the packet, that's great. That leaves them a lot of time to do the options. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think that's where some confusion has lied. I think this might help them understand that. And the check-in that I'm gonna show you right now is going to be a tool for you and me to be able to really track and be able to see what's going on. So let's go to that. Let's go to the, to the daily check-in. So here's what I'm thinking. Every, Monday, every day at three o'clock, I am going to post in Google Classroom, which is where we can post all the assignments, okay? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep using Google Classroom. I'm gonna be posting it in Google Classroom, but because not everyone has technology, I am going to also post it in Class Dojo so that parents can also see it there, okay? So, um, and I probably will go ahead and just put it on Facebook just for ease. I know some of you have really, um, enjoyed using that, it seems to be pretty friendly. So I'll just put it in all three places, three o'clock, all three places, daily check-in, okay? The screen right now shows what that daily check-in is. It explains basically what I just said to you, what's required, every day, one to three hours. What I am trying to do is to use this check-in and then celebrate. If your kiddo completes the check-in for the entire week, every day, so five days they complete the check-in, and they have completed their five to 15 hours, which is what the district is saying, if we take that over five days, if they've achieved that, then they will be considered a worker bee, okay? So on um, Friday, over the weekend, I will look at everything, I'll calculate it all up, and Monday morning I will announce our worker bees. And that group of kids, what I'm hoping and what I'm kind of playing around with is thinking I can have that group do a little, uh, maybe a little Zoom together and we can discuss some ideas or um, give them a survey and let them, I'm still not sure, I'll iron out those details, but regardless, they will work together. So, Back to their um, weekly, I'm sorry, daily check-in. They're gonna write their name. This shows that there's required packet work, the non-negotiable, and then there is the choice. So I'm going to break it down by day. So for Monday, 427, today what is required is this, reading the article eruption, writing a summary, and completing the math. That's what's required for today. That'll probably take your kids 30 minutes, if that, which that leaves at least 30 more minutes that they need to be working on something. That's where the choices come in. So if you come down here, it shows all of their choices. These first four go along with our April enrichment opportunities. I think that's where we're kind of getting a little blurry too. Let me show you what we have done, or uh, what I did, and the other Gales teachers are using it as well. Put everything in one spot, okay, which I think we need. That's part of our redefining an organization, and I think this also kind of shows um, some motivation because they have a public place where their work is going to go. So if you remember from the survey, those first four areas, the creative writing, the math board game, the passion project, and the poetry choice boards. If we come back to here, you see these are the first four choices that they could do to fill in that hour, one to three hours per day. So that's where the balance comes in. It doesn't mean they have to be sitting for five hours every day, like a school day. It's one to three throughout the day. Now, you as a parent always have the option of saying, the school might say one to three, I'm requiring three. There's no one in my house. That's your choice, okay? And, and I respect that. 
And if you need me to back you up on that, I absolutely will. Sometimes um, teachers have a magical way of getting kids to uh, work. I get it. I'm a, I'm a mom too. And I could tell my boys, so I was blue in the face, but if their teacher told them, they did it. I don't know. So, um, and then down here, all of these options, if we continue past the first four, all of these on this page, if we come back here and we go to the enrichment links, you will see that's what all of these are. So now they're all in one spot, okay? And where the motivation falls in, kids that have gone above and beyond and are the worker bees, this is where we're gonna celebrate their work. Like right here, Lauren has two passion projects she's already worked on. So it's obvious she's gone above and beyond what's required. Here's a math board game. Here's Kingston, he created his. It's obvious he went above and beyond. So I'm hoping this project place offers defining a little bit more about, oh, you know what I think I might do, sorry. I will put that um, graph on here. So it is also in one spot. That would probably be helpful, wouldn't it? So for your kids to record their um, time and like the red and the yellow and, and so forth. I'll put that on here for you. But I'm hoping this will help you um, balance a little bit better. Hopefully it will motivate your kiddo a little bit more. Hopefully it will show in a more organized way. Um, I can probably stop that. A more organized way um, to find everything and go from there. So hopefully it will help you understand what's required versus what is optional and why we threw so many options at you. So I think, honestly, I have a better understanding now, um, not just you. I think we're all trying to figure this out and let the cookies crumble where they may. Um, it's, it is definitely a learning curve for us all. So the recap, this week, we're gonna try a daily check-in. What might be helpful for your kiddo is to keep a graph and daily graph their progress so that they can kind of tune in. Maybe they get their five hours in before Friday. Then Friday, that's up to you, but it's always an option that they don't work on Friday. Or if it's a beautiful day, they work a little bit more tomorrow when it's rainy. That's the beauty of having them at home. There's flexibility. I know that's a double-edged sword because that is a different type of routine and it's not always clear. So if I can help you, let me know. Hoping this might be the bridge that we've needed. Again, thank you. Wouldn't have been able to think through it without your feedback. I appreciate it. And um, here we go. Week four of April. Thanks, parents. Talk with you later. Bye-bye.